for our last game, we'll make a little ball change. So my first game was practice, just kind of getting warmed up, getting my balls to fit right, feeling comfortable, you know, with the approach and everything. So then now I think my second game, the ball I started out with was a little too strong, a little too aggressive, right? So for those people who don't have five or 10 balls in their arsenal, they only got maybe three balls, a spare ball and a ball that's kind of aggressive and a ball that's a little weaker. Uh, you know, let's throw the ball that's a little weaker. Let's see what that looks like actually on the lane. And let's see if that uh, matches up a little bit better to the pattern out here. Since our stronger ball, which was my uh, Vipers on hybrid, was a little bit too strong for the pattern today. This Tenacity Grid is a good benchmark ball for me. It's a good ball I could throw kind of anywhere. I've bowled 300 with this ball all across the, the country. But we'll try it from the same spot that I was in throwing my uh, uh, Vapor Zone hybrid. Oh, oh! That ball actually responded to the pattern a little better. I actually went a little high, but that's okay. Our ball reaction was much better. I feel like the ball lost less energy and probably read the pattern a little better. Maybe that's telling us we can move one more left. Lumberjack, that boy's a lumberjack. Y'all see that? Logs, logs, logs. You see how I'm saying like, when you got a ball that matches up better. Like those weren't perfect strikes. All the strikes I threw with my vapor zone were like perfect, in the pocket, knocking them down the old fashioned way. Now I'm getting some breaks. It's a half pocket hit right there. It's with a little power for the messenger on the 10. Come on. Oh, one more time. Now let's go. Now some people won't like that, right? They'll be like, hey, that's luck. Your ball's hitting terrible it's half pocket your ball's hitting terrible it's 100 percent luck that's not supposed to strike well what i tell you is look at that scoreboard that's a strike and as long as i can keep doing that until i 10 pin i'll make that adjustment when i get there because sometimes hitting like that in the house on that particular lane or that pair is what's going to give you strikes hitting them half flush and hard might only leave you with nine Sometimes you gotta take what you could get, right? So let's see if we could take what we could get and if we could get a few more strikes. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Bad racking off. And see, so, see, that's why you stay there. Sometimes the ball changes. Having the right ball in your hand makes all the difference. Now we got the right ball in our hand. We rocking and rolling, destroying the rack. Oh, I hung in that one. If I was in a competition, I probably would've took the tape out. Ah, it's definitely gonna make me hit it a little more. That'll hook. So look, now I got a little area. I missed left right there. A little firm, a little left, natural miss. 10 back. I probably should have shot 300 right here if I would have took that tape out. Knowing and understanding your equipment is key. Somewhere you could bowl on whatever, right? I bought one bag out today. Spare ball, ball a little stronger than dead medium, ball a little weaker than dead medium for me and my bag. And one of the two is basically bound to work. They hooked a little more than I thought they would be. Ball down from the stronger ball to the weaker ball. Had a chance to shoot 300 this game. You don't have to throw it perfect. The result's perfect. We matched up. All right, so you see what the score says, right? And we threw a few strikes here. One or two. Look at that. That's how you practice. We bowled three games. Three games of practice. I think three good games. 
kind of show you a little bit about how we start, what we do in the beginning when we first kind of make it to the bowling alley and a little bit before we get here, we talked about that, to what our first game looks like, how we warm up safely so we don't injure ourselves, right? Then second game, kind of challenging ourselves, right? And then third game, making that necessary adjustment. Do what you feel you need to do to be able to match up better to the pattern, to be able to maximize your score. I didn't throw it perfect every time. You don't have to. Make the best shot you can throw, match up your balls correctly, and you can strike like the expert bowler, baby. Let's take a look at that score one more time. You can see all of the scores that I bowled. 140, right? My first game just getting warmed up. Not really trying hard, just kind of getting the ball down the lane. To my second game, shooting 203, right? With the wrong ball, kind of playing where I could to be able to uh, try to force myself to repeat and make some decent shots. To game three, right? Bowling for score, all out, seeing what's going on. Take one more look at that last game I bowled. So as you can see, all right, ball change. I had a little hiccup because it's a little hot. Rapid fire throwing those shots. It got a little tight in my thumb. I hung a little bit, took the tape out, made the correction. Boom, 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 sheet. 260. You can do it too. You know what it is, man. I'm an expert bowler. This is expert bowler game, man. If you want to bowl, you want to get better, man, you know what to do. Check out some of my little practice tips. They help you out a little bit. If they helped you out, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Expert bowler, man. I'm out.